Welcome back to the Marquee Media Studio with Mark Haney, igniting the entrepreneurial revolution with the Haney Biz Project. Welcome back to the Haney Biz Project, brought to you courtesy of Hub International and Legion AVS. I'm Mark Haney, and I am joined by a man finding tomorrow's medicine today, Sunil Wadwa, the founder and CEO of MedX Prime. How you doing, Sunil? I'm doing great, man. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you being here, coming down to Haney Biz, coming down to Mark Tank inside Marquee Media Studios. Talk to us about your business and your entrepreneurial journey. It's been a tough one, man. Okay. We're talking about, you know, I heard a lot about entrepreneurial stuff today. Yeah. It's a tough road. It's yes, a it tough is. road. But we're really excited about what we're doing, Mark. Um, we're on a mission. This is a, uh, a national awareness around adverse drug reactions. Okay. Unfortunately, in, in America, 4 billion prescriptions are written. That's with a B, boy. Wow. What's the population of the U.S., Mark? Yeah, uh, three, I know, yeah. 300 million? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, 330. 330, all right. All right. Yeah. So, 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 we're, so people are taking a lot of drugs, right? Yeah, right? Exactly, yeah. Oh my gosh. But unfortunately, adverse drug reactions is now the fourth leading cause of death. The fourth. We're not talking about 400. We're talking about the fourth leading cause of death, man. Scary stuff. Somebody takes a medication or a combination of medications, they end up in the hospital or, or unfortunately dead. 125,000 people will die every year in this country. And, and let me give you a, a visual on that, Mark. It's, uh, it, it's comparable to um, an airplane going down every single day with 350 passengers for the next one year. Okay? Think and about it that. never makes the news, right? Well, we never hear about it, but you have something that's solving that. What yeah. are you doing to solve that uh, tremendous problem? So very simple test, Mark, has been in the market for 14 years, believe it or not, and nobody knows about it, including the medical community. Now, very fortunately, there are some great clinics like the Mayo, Vanderbilt, Stanford. In fact, uh, St. Jude's just announced that they're going to use this test on every patient. So I'm very, very pleased to see that. But when I started the company about five years ago, we struggled, man. I mean, talking to doctors, nobody wanted to incorporate the test. Okay. It was the weirdest thing. It's still baffling. Even today, five years later, if I go out and talk to 100 doctors today, I'll be lucky if one or two maybe know about it. Why do, why do they not want to promote the test? Is it uh, they can't get paid on it? You know, that, well, that, that's been... <laughs> exactly, right? It's always, I always try to follow <laughs> the money. You know, that's been the million-dollar question, yeah. right? Why would doctors not want to do a two-minute simple test so that they can provide the right medication the right dosage right from the beginning, right? Makes nothing but mm -hmm. sense. Well, an article just came out, man, in, in, in NPR just five days ago. And this is something that our team has known for a long time, but it's now in this article. And, and, and the fact that was shared in this article is that since 2013 to the present, that's about five years, the pharmaceutical companies have paid out $9 billion dollars to 900,000 doctors. Ah, the, the trial United lawyers came in and, uh, right? Is that what happened? Need I say any more? <laughs> I mean, all right. So, so it's been an up uphill battle, man. It's, it's been an uphill battle, but I have absolutely no idea why every doctor in this country is not using this technology. In fact, they will. In the next year or two, uh, it'll become standard practice, in our opinion. Okay. Uh, in, in fact, the New Yorker magazine just came out with a cartoon, funny cartoon. There's a guy in the bathroom ready to pop some meds. And the caption at the bottom says, hey, wait a minute. If I have an adverse drug reaction, do I call my doctor or my lawyer? All right? So the legal system is catching up is the point I'm making. And, yeah. and so uh, just as we get a blood test, just as we get a urine test so that doctors know what's going on inside our body, Doctors have to do this test. It's really that simple. So what stage is the company in now? What's this get into the entrepreneurial journey? Are you, uh, are you in the first inning or are you uh, toward the end? You know, five years ago, we were definitely, uh, you know, in the first inning. Okay. Uh, we, we believe we're, we're inching closer now to, um, I, I'd say, I don't know, sixth, seventh inning. Oh, right? nice. Yeah. Okay. Like I said, I, I think this will become standard care. You'll go into the doctor, you know, a year or two from now, and they're going to say, hey, Mark, we've had your blood done. We've had your urine done. Uh, you're on three meds or two meds. Hopefully, you're never on any meds. Yeah. But uh, but I'm on they're CrossFit. Gonna... That's my medicine. Well, there you go, man. Exactly right. Okay. <laughs> but the numbers prove themselves, unfortunately, right? Uh, so was there a breakthrough moment, right? Nobody goes through life undefeated. We go through this trough of sorrow, as I like to call it. And then did something? Uh, did you have a wake up call of some sort? Well, 
I almost lost my wife 10 years ago due to an adverse drug reaction. And I'm coming back from New York um, five years ago, uh, sitting in the airplane, bored, started flipping through magazines and found an article on this particular test. And as I read the article, I became really angry because I reflect on what happened to my, my wife. And my father also went through an open heart surgery. All right. Now, they cut him open. They gave him a, tons of medications afterwards, of course. Mm -hmm. And the poor man had nothing but reactions. Okay. Off to the doctors. They change out this med, change out that med, off to the pharmacy. And this nonsense went on for about a year before they finally figured out the right cocktail. Now, I'm reading this article thinking, why in the world? Didn't my father's doctor, before cutting him open in half, give this two-minute test that would have clearly shown the doc what meds my dad can handle and what mm -hmm. meds my dad cannot handle? It's really that simple. Okay, So that's how I got involved with this. I, I, I found the number one lab in the country that does the analysis on this test. We've created a brilliant model where we've got representatives that can join our company around the country okay. to... Uh, become entrepreneurs with our company on a part-time, full-time basis, um, and help us spread this very, very important wow. message. So you're promoting the entrepreneurial revolution alongside B. Absolutely. This is great. Okay, so, um, and then they go in and uh, help market this product uh, to the doctor. Is that right? Or well, to, who's the customer? Yeah, two ways. We're, we're, we're uh, educating the general population. Mm -hmm. We've created a, a brilliant one-page letter that they can take to their doctor that clearly explains to the doctor why they should have this test done, Okay. And, and equally, we're also going into the doctor's offices and, and hospitals and such to, to, and I hate to say the word educate docs, but we are, man, nobody knows about is it, it. Is it a blood test? Is it some sort of, uh, go ahead. It's a Q-tip. It's a Q-tip in your mouth. All okay. right. You're going to, two minutes, Q-tip, both sides of your mouth, goes into our lab, lab sends back a report to your doctor, says, based on Mark, your, your body's different than mine, obviously, yeah. right? But if you and I go to, into the doctor, they're going to give you and I the same med. doesn't make any sense. Okay. So the doctor's going to get this report back. And it's going to say, hey, based on Mark's genetic makeup and your metabolism, Mark can only have these medications, but never give him these medications. Gotcha. Okay? Very clear, concise, to the point report. Very simple. So again, the doctor can give you now the right med, the right dosage, right from the beginning. And though, so the uh, cost for the consumer, if they're not covered by insurance, is, is there a cost Great for that? Great question. Yeah. So Medicare is picking up the tab oh, on this. Cool. All right. Uh, of course, the doctor has to send in some information on the patient. No big deal. A uh, lot of insurance companies. Now, when we started the company five years ago, hardly any insurance companies were picking this thing up. Yeah. We're seeing more and more insurance companies oh, now covering great. this thing. So we're very excited about that. Exciting stuff. Yeah. So we only have a minute left. Advice to, so you've had this battle, right? You've, uh, you've built this company. It's, it's on the grow. Uh, sixth inning, any advice to people who are in the, uh, in the first inning, first or second inning? Man, if you believe, stay focused. You know, successful people, I know we've all heard this adage, but it's very important. Successful people do what unsuccessful people are unwilling to do. Uh, I, saw the, I saw the vision with the, uh, the test. I think it's going to be absolutely standard care in this, not only in this country, but worldwide. Everyone in the country and the world is on meds, unfortunately. Yeah. We more so than other countries here in the U.S., but it just makes a lot of sense, man. Why would you want to play Russian roulette with your life without this test? Yeah, very you know? cool. I loved uh, hearing the uh, the story. Sunil, uh, thanks for joining us on the show. You got to believe and you got to stay focused. Uh, some pillars of success probably no matter what you're doing. Uh, when we return, I will be joined by the inspirational speaker and the author, of How to Network in College, Isaac Sirwanga. Join the revolution at HaneyBiz.com, courtesy of Chicago Fire Pizza and Apex Appraisal Services. This is the Haney Biz Project.